What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now for today's video, I want to talk to you all about Cyberpunk 2077 and why I feel like you should come back to the game or if you've never played it before, why you should check it out in 2022. Now back when this game first launched, as you guys probably know, it was in a pretty bad state. Uh, and I covered this game back on my channel back in 2020 and I got a lot of hate. A lot of people called me a shill because I didn't think the game was awful. I mean, yes, I thought the game was buggy and glitchy, but I knew deep down, like underneath everything, the story was really good, the combat was good, there was a lot of opportunities for replayability, I just didn't think it would take them this long. I mean, two years to fix a game is a very long time. Uh, but with the release of the Edge Runners update and the new Netflix anime series, Cyberpunk has received a new breath of fresh air, and there are tons of new and returning players checking out the game. If you take a look at the Steam charts, it's coming in at number 7 on Steam, with a peak of 136,000 people playing it in the past 24 hours, and that number is just growing larger and larger with each and every day. Cyberpunk themselves tweeted out on September 21st, each day of this week in Night City has been visited by 1 million players, both new and returning. So the fact that 1 million people across all the consoles are checking out Cyberpunk again because of this new anime is absolutely nuts. I've never seen a TV show based on a video game actually revive the video game. Like 9 times out of 10, a video game adaptation brought to the big screen is awful. Like anytime they make a movie, like the Assassin's Creed movie, awful. The Halo TV show, awful. Like, they always ruin it. But everybody's absolutely loving this anime, and it's getting people to go play the actual game. So after seeing that there's a million people playing this still every single day in 2022, I figured I would sit down, start a new game, and actually see just how much the game has changed in the course of the past two years. Now in 2021, I didn't really play the game that much. Once I beat Cyberpunk and I moved on to other things on my channel, I never really checked out a lot of the small updates because I just didn't feel like there was enough content to get me to come back to the game. But here we are like two years later, they've had a bunch of small updates that add up to be really big. And there's been a lot of just massive changes that have happened to Cyberpunk. They completely overhauled the perk system a couple updates ago. They added the apartments. They added quite a few new gigs since I originally played the game back in 2020. They completely overhauled a lot of the combat system. They added a ton of new weapons and different mechanics and stuff. So honestly, it feels like a completely different experience, especially with the bugs that they've ironed out in the past two years. Like playing Cyberpunk now versus playing Cyberpunk like back in 2020 is a completely different experience for me. Now back in 2020, I played this on the Xbox One and it was a disaster. The graphics wouldn't load half the time, I would fall through the map all the time, enemies wouldn't respond to me fighting them. Like you name the glitch and it happened to me on the Xbox One. It was just an awful, awful experience. And since then they've had the next gen updates. I have a Series X and a PS5 now, so I was able to play Cyberpunk the way it was supposed to with better graphics and less glitches and I gotta say playing it on the Series X is really smooth. I have very little glitches and graphical issues so the primary experience for me has been on console but I also recently just got a brand new PC and now I can just mod the crap out of Cyberpunk on my PC and I gotta say the PC version if you're on the fence about getting Cyberpunk I highly highly recommend you get it for PC because the, the PC version of Cyberpunk is like 10 times better than the console version because the mods that they have for Cyberpunk are just insane. They have flying cars now and on the PC version. That's one of the main reasons I decided to re-download it on my PC other than like taking screenshots and stuff for thumbnails. Like the mods are nuts. Like you can literally take your car and fly it through the city like everybody imagined that we'd be able to do in the first place. Like they are making Cyberpunk on PC with all the mods. Literally what everybody thought cyberpunk was going to be back at E3 uh, and there's just tons and tons of hours of content that they've added over on PC but yeah that's basically all I really wanted to say was that you know I, I picked this game up again two years later I wanted to see what all the hype was about um, the anime is really cool so if you haven't seen that definitely check it out but they've just added so many new weapons and skins and a couple new vehicles uh, some new missions the apartments 
the perk overhaul. So honestly, if you guys are a returning player or a new player, I definitely recommend you just start a new game and I promise you the experience now in 2022 is a completely different experience from launch. It runs a lot smoother, it plays a lot better, the combat's more fun. There are tons of different options for character builds now. It's pretty insane. The perk overhauls that they did made some of the trees that were completely useless, like top of the line, like top tier, really, really cool. Like this game has tons of replayability now. The only thing that this game is missing is a new game plus mode. I feel like that would definitely make the experience a lot better for a lot of people, but they do have the option for you to like respec your perks now. So if you want to play with different builds and stuff, you can do that. Uh, the only lingering issue that I still have with the game is that once you get to the final product, you get to the end, there isn't really much for you to do anymore. Once you beat all the gigs and you basically find everything, your only other option is to start a new game because the free roam just gets kind of empty. But other than that, I feel like the game has done a complete 180. Cyberpunk has pulled a No Man's Sky and somehow was able to redeem themselves and bring everyone back in. And hopefully with this huge influx of players and them seeing that a million people are playing it on the daily and everyone's still interested in this, you know, hopefully we get more than one DLC update. Now we're supposed to get DLC next year in 2023 and so far they've only confirmed that they're going to have that one DLC expansion. But if this many people are looking forward to it and this many people are playing hopefully they consider adding more dlc in the future because i feel like this universe is super exciting and it's really unique and a lot of people love the cyberpunk vibe in the city so hopefully we get sequels in the future more dlc i don't know uh but yeah this game definitely has my seal of approval i gave it like an eight or a nine back in 2020 so here we are in 2022 i'm giving it like a solid nine maybe even a 10 out of 10 like i think this game is really good now compared to when it released but those are my thoughts on cyberpunk 2077 I feel like you guys will definitely enjoy it, so I highly recommend it. Uh, let me know if you guys are playing Cyberpunk down in the comment section down below. And that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all in the next video.